Hey, what's going on? Uh, name's Joseph Misfit2. Um, the reason why we haven't been around is because there's a lot of things in the works right now. As you can see, this is a new area where we're filming. So just to give you some content, uh, I have a whole bunch of guns and stuff behind me. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a preview so you can see what's coming up. A lot of these guns I've already covered and I've already done a review on, but there is some here that I haven't really had a chance to really uh, get into. So how about I show you what it is and then, you know, this will suffice as a preview to videos to come. So we haven't done a review on the infamous Elite Force 1911. I say infamous because every single fucking YouTuber uses one. And it's like the gun, you know. And why is it the gun? Is it because they're mostly Elite Force Pro staff? Or is it the gun because it is amazing? Well, you'll find out. So this one is mine here. Um, I've had it for quite a while. I, uh, I don't have the, the TAC version where it has that super cool tan and black finish to it, but I do have this one, very, very classic looking, and I look for it in the review. Let's move on. Okay, here I have my LM4 PTR or uh, Mega Arms M MKM OEM by Ikai. Uh, you may have seen this in one of my videos when I did a review on the LM4 C PTR, but this here is the... Mega Arms LM4 or MKM or GBBR or KWA LM4 PTR or Yikai M4 or Gun. Okay, anyways, so look forward to this. I'll probably try to do these in order as I've shown you in the video, but yeah, look forward to this one. Okay, next is something that I've been wanting for since its release and I haven't been able to get my hands on it but as soon as it came back in stock uh, I was looking at all the retailers just to see if it was gonna come in stock and as soon as it did I picked one up can you take a guess it's a Tokyo Marui can you take another guess it's a shotgun can you take another guess it's a breacher so yeah I have this breacher and I've been wanting one for a while it uh, shoots six BBs at a time. Well, you have a choice between three or six, but really, I was gonna choose three. So yeah, I got this one, and I'm really excited to do a review, and I'm wondering if I should paint it. Should I paint it to be all milsim, or should I just keep it a black? Very, very cool and interesting little gun. All right, load my shotgun up. Oh, hey, so <laughs> next one is the Cam 870 by APS. And uh, the thing is though, I haven't got a chance to field it because it's kind of unfieldable. Uh, you really need the shell catcher in order to really field this one. Next up we have the gun made famous by Travis Haley. Um, I mean, this isn't the gun, but it's modeled after the gun. So this gun is the gun that uh, Rifle Dynamics made for Travis Haley. And, uh, it's a very, very cool gun. I dig it. And uh, I actually, actually, dig it is an understatement. I actually really dig it. Even though I'm not really into Echo One products because of the rebranding bullshit. There's not rebranding. It's kind of not, but it kind of is. So. Uh, I do really, really dig this gun though. Like, no lie. I really do like it. And can't wait to do a review on it. Alright, excuse the no optic. I don't know why. It gives me OCD to not see an optic here, but there is no optic, and I'm just gonna have to live with it. And so will you. This is my Daniel Defense, uh, uh, I don't remember what it was called. A SOCOM gear Daniel Defense gun made by VFC, I believe. Yes. Clear pop up unit VFC. This originally had a 16 inch barrel. The barrel was pretty long, but I was like, hey, you know what? I have a 14.5, why don't I make a block two? So I made a block two and I'm digging it. I like it a lot. Uh, the reason why I don't have all these attachments on it is because I'm not super rich and I just take attachments from my other guns and put them on other guns. So, you know, whenever I'm bored, I just move shit around. Normally, uh, 
this gun has all the nifty stuff on it and uh, I'll walk you through a review of everything next in my hands I have a KM4 Riz uh, this is very very basic fucking gun as basic as you can fucking get uh, this one is particularly modeled after service weapon got the Knight's Armament real who gives a shit if they're real really uh, real rail covers Ooh, real rail covers anyways and I uh, got this kind of sanded grip right here I know PEC 16 isn't really the most accurate thing but it's all I got right now I mean it's not really super accurate but it feels like a service weapon so yeah I dig it excuse me <laughs> all right Scarlight uh, this one in particular is in tan you probably couldn't tell but it is and uh, I have a replica surefire break thingy a PWS rail because I couldn't resist I just wanted to be different had to be then I got this PEC 16 and Elkan I'll go through a full review of this gun but for now this will have to suffice the Echo 1 Platinum um, it's kind of we're gonna focus on the gun itself the Echo 1 Platinum the platform itself because uh, it's an interesting platform people often use it it's arguably the best platform not I'm not saying for me it may be you have to find out in the review but people often say that it's one of the best guns to buy and use for a base gun for an internal build so we'll see uh, hopefully it stands up and I'll let you know so uh, one of the people commenting on the video said hey what does your uh, Crytek PDW look like now this is what it looks like right here anyways I'm sorry <laughs> anyways this is what it's like in its form now um, I'll do a full video and a review and ever of everything and I'll let you know exactly what I think about it and how it is so yeah stay tuned so uh, last but certainly not least uh, there is a gun that I almost forgot about I have no clue how I could have done such a thing but it is the classic army version of the stoner LMG so thank you for watching stay tuned for all the reviews to come and again thank you for bearing with us as we make this transition and hopefully it produces better video content thanks for everything rate comment favorite and subscribe and as always have a nice day no nah, i shouldn't do that he's gonna come after me for stealing his line but anyways peace and if bradley was here he'd say I'll see you in the field.